Priscilla Presley is a legendary beauty, it's no doubt, but she has undergone plastic surgery in the past, and some believe that she may have gone too far. It's been speculated over the years that the 77 year old could have had facelifts, a rhinoplasty, cheek implants or fillers, plenty of Botox, and more. But Priscilla got more obsessed with going under the knife after she was diagnosed with skin cancer. Furthermore, some of the surgeries she underwent in the past left Priscilla with some bad side effects. The love story between Elvis and Priscilla Presley still fascinates people to this day. Not to mention Graceland, the famous home where the couple once lived in Tennessee, is one of the top tourist attractions in the USA. Priscilla went on to be an actress and businesswoman after her marriage to Elvis, including starting her own fragrance line and clothing boutique as well as being the mastermind behind transforming Graceland into the renowned tourist destination that it is today. In addition to her work at Elvis Presley Enterprises, the widow of Elvis had quite a successful acting career. Priscilla had a starring role in all three Naked Gun films and played the role of Jenna Wade in the iconic TV series Dallas. Priscilla has also always been admired for her beauty, but she has had multiple plastic surgery procedures to give her the look she has today at age 77. Some fans believe she's gone too far, and Priscilla was also reportedly once one of the victims of the infamous Dr. Daniel Serrano, who was sentenced to 18 months in jail for using substances on his patients that weren't approved by the FDA. Priscilla Presley, no doubt, was always a stunning and effortless beauty from her early days in the spotlight as a teen to her more recent years in her 70s. Fans always loved her trendy style and electrifying personality. In 2022, Priscilla was still shining during several red carpet events to promote the biographical musical film Elvis, and she attended the Met Gala with the cast in a sleek black gown. While her incredible fashion moments left everyone speechless, the mom of two was just happy to see her late ex-husband's story be told in a new light. Back in the 60s, Priscilla was known as Elvis's girl back home. In these photos, the then 16 year old can be seen posing with a portrait of Elvis in uniform, who was serving in the US Army at West Germany at the time. The couple began dating just six weeks prior to his departure from Germany when the United States Army discharged him. While she was dating Elvis, Priscilla got a more glamorous style than ever, and she often rocked the signature big hair that was so popular in the 60s as well as dark eye makeup, which her beau Elvis reportedly loved. Priscilla donned this style as well at her and Elvis's wedding on May 1st, 1967 in Las Vegas, where they looked happier than ever. Later in 1974, Priscilla was looking flawless for an exclusive photo shoot for her clothing shop, Biz and Beau Boutique at the time. She has such enviable long flowing locks of brunette hair. A year later, Priscilla showed off her slim figure and blonde hair in a swimsuit shoot at Beverly Hills home. In the 80s, Priscilla went back and forth between brown and blonde hair, but she still always made appearances looking chic and glamorous. It wasn't until the 90s that it looked like Priscilla could have started getting some work done to her face, but she hasn't fully hid her plastic surgery experiences over the years either. In 2008, Priscilla appeared on season six of Dancing with the Stars and she showed off her dance moves. While she and her partner didn't win, she still won viewers' hearts and looked amazing in the process. In 2017, we could see that Priscilla still maintains her enviable figure no matter what time had passed, like this occasion when she attended Politicon. Two years later in 2019, Priscilla also looked like she hadn't even aged when she stepped out for the Rescue Los Angeles Gala. And we also love that she supports the Humane Society of the United States. Priscilla's fans know that while she's remained beautiful as can be, she's also been the subject of many rumors over the years surrounding plastic surgery, further suffering at the hands of an infamous phony plastic surgeon. But let's look a little closer and see what work Priscilla did have done to change her appearance. By the early 1990s, Priscilla dyed her hair back to her signature dark brown and reportedly began to experiment with plastic surgery, while in 1996, she made headlines for appearing to get Botox injections. In 2000, Priscilla went blonde again and also possibly started to get cheek implants as well as facial fillers. Priscilla had a long public history 
history of getting cosmetic surgeries. But after her cancer scare, it apparently got worse. A source said, Priscilla was already a slave to surgery. She's constantly running back to the surgeon's office asking for more work. And apparently Priscilla was quote unquote, very self-conscious about any scarring and asking doctors to give her the works. Reportedly, this obsession from her skin cancer scare caused the star to be fixated on her scars after she had a surgery that removed cancerous tissue from her nose. Priscilla had been somewhat open about her decision to undergo plastic surgery in the past, including in a 2008 interview when she talked about the botched work that she had done that caused lumps and partial paralysis in her face. This was back in 2003, and it was an injectable scam that Priscilla fell victim to, among many others. An Argentinian doctor based in Beverly Hills, Daniel Serrano, caught the attention of many Hollywood A-listers by promising them injections that were better than Botox. In reality, this infamous Dr. Serrano injected low-grade industrial silicone into his patient's faces. Silicone that was similar to the kind used to lubricate auto parts. This earned the shady doctor the nickname Dr. Jiffy Lube. These toxic materials were injected into Priscilla's face as well. Costing between $300 to $500 each, the non-FDA approved injections left paralysis, lumps, and even holes in the skin of their victims. Priscilla underwent corrective surgery in 2008. Meanwhile, Serrano was charged in 2004, sentenced to 18 months in jail, pled guilty to conspiracy, smuggling, and use of unapproved drugs in 2006, and was voluntarily deported back to Argentina a year later. By 2010, Priscilla still seemed to have an ever-changing appearance though. By this time, it was thought that she had undergone a facelift, a brow lift, as well as star Started with some lip injections. The most noticeable plastic surgery Priscilla seems to have done is the cheek implants, which was a big change to her face. It seems that she also kept up with Botox injections over the years. One cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Andrew Miller, who doesn't treat Priscilla, theorized, it appears that she has had a fair amount of fillers to her cheeks and probably Botox to her forehead. If that's the case, it's not that invasive. Another doctor also added, looks like she definitely had the help of fillers and Botox. She also may have had a well done facelift, but it's hard to tell and that's how a facelift should be. It's also thought that Priscilla could have gotten a rhinoplasty over the years because the scoop and the tip on her nose are very refined and this petite shape is usually achieved with cosmetic surgery. Dr. Anthony Yoon also agreed that there are clear signs of a facelift on Priscilla's face and she also seems to have had some skin resurfacing treatments done. Her brow lift was probably done about a decade decade ago, so while that changed her look completely then, these days it's settled a lot more and she doesn't look as intense. As recently as 2022, it was speculated that Priscilla Presley's plastic surgery history includes multiple facelifts and laser treatments, as well as lip and cheek fillers. But at the end of the day, none of her surgeries have been fully confirmed. We can only guess. It's also likely that many changes in Priscilla's appearance could also be attributed to the aging process. I mean, she is nearing her late 70s now. One thing's for sure, Priscilla Presley has always been a beauty for the ages, and regardless of what work she has or hasn't had done, she looks great for 77. But for today, that's gonna wrap up our before and after video. Before we go, answer me this. What do you think would be the first cosmetic procedure that you would want to undergo as you got older if you had to pick one, let me know what you would do in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat or if you have a suggestion for who we should do next. I'll see you all in another one. Bye.